Hey guys, it's Andrew from County Line Adventures. Please check out Painted Arrow Outdoors on Instagram and YouTube. They make magnetic phone mounts for your compound or your crossbow so you can easily film your hunts. We're supposed to be using one on this hunt, but due to the limb splintering on our brand new Burnett, we were unable to do it and we have to wait till we get it repaired to finish that review video, but it is a good product. We encourage you to go check them out and Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe, share it, and go check out Painted Arrow. Thanks. She was right below me. Oh, she's laying right there, but she was right there to the right about five yards or so where I shot her. So I haven't gone down to her yet. Uh, she did drop, it took a little bit of time to expire. It was kind of sad. I think the shot looked like it was a little front once it hit the shoulder. So I have been known to do that for whatever reason. I don't. The shots are good, there's no tracking, I've never lost any, but it's not quite what you want. So we're going to hang out a little bit longer, um, see if we can get a buck, and uh, yeah, it's been five straight days, hunted really hard up at like four in the morning out here, um, in the tree by like 5.30 or so, you know, 30, 45, 50 minutes before the uh, shooting time and uh yeah it's just had we've had flat tires we've had uh, cams blow up on the uh crossbow brand new crossbow um all kinds of just unfortunate things happen but this kind of kept out this is gonna be my last day to be able to hunt for um at least a week so i'll be quiet here um we did get a little bit of video. The lot was only two seconds. We got a two second video of pretty much every morning this week it was in the 60s or even in the 70s, when it, you know, even early, um, you know, 65 or so. And we be getting up to 85, 90, 95. So this morning was actually, I think, 53, something when I came out. So got a picture of a buck. Uh, well, picture two second video of a bug last night that was moving through that um, had me really got me to look at it real well. I think it was an 8.8, .8, it was a 6, I don't know, but uh, it was a real quick video. So we'll see. We'll go down here, look this down a little bit, but uh, we'll just hang out here. What are you doing? Just hanging around. Alright, there she is. Um, that was a little high. And it looks like it was going to be a nightmare. With these yellow jackets. I never, never encountered that as an issue. But looks like they were chilling in there. So, um, a little bump or something. I tend to shoot forward. And, uh, yeah, so. It got the job done, wasn't quite the shot you want, but these are size do, so looks like I'm gonna get stung today. Alright guys, I'll shoot the outro here. Um the shot kind of quartered into it, so it was a little high, it wasn't that bad of a shot, but it wasn't perfect. Um the good news is I always shoot forward, don't really know why that is. Um I always tend to do it that way, but I mean, you're shooting fast enough, it's not ideal, but even I've hit, gone through the front, 
through the second shoulder and you know it's a pretty quick death and you're you know you're not losing anything on a retrieval it's not the you know the perfect heart lung whatever that you often want but i can't even believe all the yellow jackets here is crazy but this week has been like that's an old compound not compound I was gonna use a compound went away from that I was gonna end up with a barnet xp 380 brand new crossbow bought it on sale in february put it together like a week ago and uh the limbs uh splintered on it i was up in the tree and looked and thought it was like the decal or whatever and it was the limb so i dealt with that it took me a whole nine hours to get through to barnet and uh even so their customer service is just it's really lousy so after all that time you find out that they can't really do anything for you besides you can send it to them or they can look at it or you can take it to an archery shop finally get hold of them at five o'clock how many archery shops are open i did actually get somewhere so they're looking at that now but I have to go back to this i'm running a um magpole mount for crossbow for painted arrow um really awesome would have been a great that hunt would have been fantastic film with that but it was on a normal scope on the one inch it's on the other crossbow and uh it wouldn't fit on this one on the mount so i gotta wait until it all comes back to barnett barnett fixes the problem will be good um they come back to this old one i'm not too happy with i used vacation this week we had the flat tire we had the limbs on the bow we had a lot of stuff that happened um it was so hot too but uh i just you know don't often get these opportunities maybe had an opportunity at velvet buck um i didn't see any we had one on uh trail camera it finally dipped down this morning uh last night it was 12 something one came through i think it was already out i did have a question of was it still in out it could have been i don't know but uh anyway it's gonna be a week or so before i get to go out again um to get this taken care of uh it's not too bad in the shade but uh definitely not the 95 we've been having but just kind of wrap this up hopefully we'll be bringing in a, a lot more hopefully we're back with uh, the new barnett's back um that mag pole from uh painted arrow you can find them on uh, facebook instagram find them on their website uh it's so easy and functional uh, i started a review video on that and then uh i had to return that bow and it's just a bunch of nonsense so ended up being a pretty decent sized dough um go home and get her cleaned up and all that kind of stuff and uh thanks for watching guys um i was glad i did get the video that i got so Hopefully we'll bring you a lot more deer this year. We're going to have review videos and all that stuff coming too. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.